Cash for your collectibles at Smitty's Cards and Coins. We strung a line, of a fiber optic line, a mile between our electronics and their center, and that gave them a triple redundant fiber optic line to backhaul their communications for 911. We've had some outages with uh, emergency services before in the past. Is that a direct result of what has happened with their power outages? So when, when they had outages, it was actually their fiber optic line, which is buried uh, along the Spring Mountains north into northwest Las Vegas. When that gets dug up, mm -hmm. um, it's a single point of failure. And when that happens, then they have to turn around a quick response and try to reconnect it. Um, so our line is a completely independent line from two different directions, which is completely independent from any power outage. Um, so they, so many events would have to happen in order to break that line the next time. And so, and so this is for fiber optic and electricity, or just fiber optic? So our fiber optic actually travels along our transmission and distribution lines. Um, the other uh, providers in the area are trenched in underground. So they, it's using the infrastructure that we have, but it's independent of the power that's, that's actually being carried above our fiber on the transmission line. And so was there a fee for this? So we, did, we don't have an installation fee. So we were able to run the line to them for free. So we're charging them a, a circuit price. Um, they can get everything they needed done um, for much less than $1,000 a month through our service. Are they using the fiber optic also uh, for their dispatch center and for calls? Yes, for all of that, plus their, the internet feed that they need, a smaller need to be able to get online and do other things as well. Are they reporting uh, good results now? Absolutely. So it's been absolutely solid. They're um, negotiating with CenturyLink to, to change over an existing service they have, and we can handle that no problem. Um, so they're able to actually bring carriers in that are not in the valley already. We can transport them in, which gives them a much greater flexibility in the kind of services that they're going to be able to offer. And has this been completed com um, with the Sheriff's Office at this point? So our portion is complete, and now it's up to CenturyLink and other, other providers to negotiate what exactly they're going to transport across our lines to deliver into the Sheriff's Office. Are you going to be working with uh, CCA over there? Absolutely. So I, I, I did meet the, the warden at a recent event, and uh, absolutely, we're going to be going absolutely everywhere, um, and, and we will be heading up that direction, you bet.